Hey guys, it's Dream Life here, and today I'm going to be doing my Briarvest 2018 haul. I know it's coming out a little bit late, but that's okay. I had a great time this year at Briarfest. It by far topped last year's. I got more models. I think the models were just better overall, which is kind of hard to do. And I met a lot of great people, and I hung out with my friends, which was really awesome. So without further ado, we're going to go into the horses. Also, hi guys, it's oh. Taylor. Um, you know, you might remember me from the Trigger Time video. Um, yes. I'm going to be here helping with this haul video. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first horse we have here is the Celebration Horse Brass Hat. And then, I really like him. I think he's very cool. I think they did a great job overall on him. He has a beautiful bay. And something that cool that Briar did about him was they actually, especially in his muscles, they did um, some shading. But the shading, if you look at it in, a, in light, you can't exactly see in this lighting, but there's like shimmers of blue and he looks sort of blue. And I think that's very cool. It's like a sort of spin on this model and I very much like it. And uh, this is Brass Hat. So then the next horse, oh, by the way, these are all of our uh, store specials and special runs and like our only gift horses. Anyway, so this is hands down. It is a stablemate for Briarfest this year and it is a uh, stablemate on a new stablemate mold. Briar has only had it on Christmas ornaments, but they made it into a stablemate. And uh, in this beautiful chestnut, there's a jockey and she is trotting. And I like her a lot. And she has permanent tack and she has reins. And I just think she's overall very cute. I think it was smart for Briar to take this new kind of er mold from an ornament and make it into a stablemate mold. So this is hands down. Then here are special runs. So this first guy, it is straight bet. He is a glossy goodness. I really, really like this guy. I mean, Briar completely stepped up with special runs this year, but he is a gorgeous, glossy dapple chestnut, like liver chestnut, and he is awesome shading, and he has very subtle dapples, and he is just gorgeous. His face is the cutest. He is on the newer mold, and this is the Duende mold, and he is absolutely stunning. And this is straight bet. So the next horse we have here is Glossy Sierra Rose. And oh my gosh, I am so glad I got this girl in Glossy. I just think it just totally brings out her color in Glossy. And I love all her dappling. I don't think it's too fish scaly. And I like how they made it just, I just really like it. She is very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I really like her shading, how it's darker in some places. And yeah, I like her face. I think it's super sweet and super cool. So yeah, let's move on. So the next horse is one of the surprises. This is the Matte Fire Decorator. And he's very, very cute. He's just interesting and very cool. So Briar normally does decorators every two years for surprises. And this year they had five variations. And it's awesome that we got the decorator because it's just kind of cool to know that you got a horse that Briar doesn't exactly make and it's just different. Like Briar hasn't really made a flame horse and his mane and tail are translucent and it looks like it's just fire coming out of his mane and he has flames painted on him in a nice little uh, flame blaze and he is just overall adorable and I I like that they chose the Smarty Jones mold because they stuck to, you know, the previous year live auction mo like mold. And I feel like this represents the Briarfist theme very, very well. And let's move on to the next horse. So, this horse is by a nose and she is gorgeous. When we went to the special run line, um, we got her, I believe, three before she sold out for our time which was really, really cool. And I can see why she sold out. She's gorgeous. She, she reminds me of Repeat the Beat from last year, just within the coloring and like the dots. Like, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of that. And she is actually a girl, which I was very surprised about. 
but overall just gorgeous super duper sweet and I love her so much and she also was a fan favorite of everyone I think she was the most popular special run this year and twice before I got her she was sold out and I was so sad because I really loved her and I just so like wanted her so much and I love the pink shading that she has the one that I got has super pink shading on the muzzle it's so pink but it's really cool I kind of wish she had a little bit more of a face marking but that's okay it'd be cool if they did her in like a different color but the same patterning because like look at all the detail that went into this oh my gosh I like how most of the legs are white it would have been cool if they went down a little bit but that's okay and she's just really cute I love under her nose so yeah the next horse we have is goldenrod and oh my gosh goldenrod is well actually no his name is dead heat but i named him goldenrod sorry he's really cute i got the palomino version and i'm so happy that i did because i think he's just beautiful really pretty in total and i love his little appaloosa coloring and it actually is a boy even though the ruffian world is a girl i love the one sock and like almost this curly mane and tail and then look at this guys his blue eyes they're so pretty he's so pretty i love his blue eyes they're so cute and this is what his face looks like which i think is super cute i love that little snip and i love how rich his coloring is the only thing i would have liked were if briar wouldn't have continued the white um to this top area because i think it kind of looks weird like that but that's just my opinion. So let's go to the next horse. All right, so this horse is another one of the surprises. He is, I believe, the Bay Paint Tobiano. And he is very, very pretty. I, he kind of also reminds me of the 2012 Stonely, Stonely Surprise Flash. I believe there is one that looks like this, but he is beautiful. He has a brown eye and a blue eye. Briar was very big on the blue eyes this year, <laughs> but he is beautiful. He doesn't have that many flaws on him. The only thing is you can kind of feel like you can just feel where the white is and where the pattern is. I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird to me, but I, he's just absolutely gorgeous. And one thing that kind of annoys me is this year the stamp on all the surprise horses are so far up on their stomach like I don't really understand the rest of the Briarfest horses are fine I don't know that just kind of confused me but then let's get on to the next horse so this is the Palomino Splash surprise and he is gorgeous so I was really, really excited when I saw this guy because Briar normally doesn't do Palomino splashes. Like, Briar hasn't done one in a while. I can't exactly think of one they've done, but his mane and tail are just amazing. He has almost like a sheen, champagne-y, pearly color on his mane, and it kind of fades up into white. And the same with his tail. His tail starts at this beautiful, rich champagne-y color and fades to a nice pearly white. And big on blue eyes. He does have two blue eyes, and I think he's just adorable. I love this guy. And also, he is lighter in person, so this light is kind of just making him look darker. Yeah, the window over there is not exactly placed perfectly. So, yeah, we have our next horse. This is Old Ironess or Sugar. And the real horse is either a Galdino Stallion or is a boy. But of course, Briar was great. Not really. And still kept this mold as a girl. They did the same thing for repeat feet last year. Yes. I really like this girl. I love all of her shading that she has on her legs. And I think the fleet bits were really good on her this year. Like, look how detailed that is. I kind of don't like how my face, at least on my model, gets, like, super dark right away. But that's just me. I really like the snip or the face marking. And oh my gosh, look at that mane. Love it. And then the ombre in the tail to the gray to the white. And then again with the flea bites. They're just so 
so pretty. Oh my gosh, I really like this girl. All right, so the next horses are Julep and Pim. They are the Marin Full set this year, and Briar does the Marin Full set uh, every two years, and this is the Marin Full set. So Julep is gorgeous. She is a pinto, and she is she's a Grulio pinto, and. This is on a newer mold, this is the Karina and Celine mold, and she is beautiful. She has a nice dorsal stripe, very nice, and her mane is just awesome. I love her so much, and look at this face. It's just so, so, so sweet. She just looks so adorable, and I'm so happy that we got her. And then here is Pim, her foal. He's still very cute. He's a... Uh, a black overall, I believe. I think, yeah. And then um, he is on the slain mold. He just he just looks so cute. I don't know what it is about him. Maybe the long legs, the face. I just love him. But unfortunately, this guy did come with a lot of flaws. I feel like Ryder didn't have as well quality control this year. He just has so many flaws on him. But yeah. So this next guy, this is, um, I don't know his name. What's his name? His name is Winter Circle. So this guy was the signing model for this year, which I thought was a really cool idea on Briar's behalf. I mean, like, a signing model, this is really cool. I personally didn't get mine signed because I just wanted to get it for the models. But, you know, that's okay. So he has the Briar logo on his rump over here. And I'm so glad they chose the Adios mold for this. And he doesn't have it on his other side. But I really like his coloring for it, and I like how much detail they put into him and didn't just make him a blank horse. So I'm super happy about that. All right, and then this last horse is Furlong. He's the plushie from this year. Briar does the plushie every single year. And this year it was themed after the jockey silks. And they, uh, they upped the quantity last year. He, uh, he went from 750 to 1500 and we got 745 out of 1500 And his mane and tail are just crazy with all this color. And he is just gorgeous. Look at his little face. He's got, uh, I look at how they have two diamonds from like a jockey silk as his nostrils. And I just think he's an overall gorgeous pony. I mean, he's not the softest plushie because he's silky compared to the other plushies but I think it was a really cool idea on Ryder's behalf. All right, now let's move on.